Oh, 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 come on, come on. Reach. Come on. Oh. Yeah. All right, come on. Guys. You're all right. You're going to be all right. Oh, easy, guys. Easy. All right, easy. Take it again. We don't want to cause any more cracks in the ice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, get over here. I'm okay. Over here. Too close to the ice. I'm okay. now. There are just two more hearts to be broken on Valentine's Day. I really need to get her someplace warm and out of these wet clothes. I need to give her a thorough examination. I'm gonna be all right, Charity. Where's Miguel? Hey, man, we gotta get him out quick and get off this ice cream, guys. Come on! Guys, just find the crack. We just find the crack. Oh, no, no, but where did he drip to? He has to be here somewhere. Miguel! Miguel! Get off! Miguel! Dear God, this can't be happening. Miguel! Nothing happens to Miguel, I will never forgive myself. Don't give up, can you see? If only I had tried to keep Charity away from Miguel. If I hadn't let her skate on that thin ice, none of this would have happened. What have I done? Miguel! It's no easy, we don't want you falling into, okay? You can't stand there much longer, the water's freezing. I know, but don't. He's trapped under that ice, man. That's a damn long time to be under. Look, my brother's gonna die. No, no, die. no, that was... I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm just shooting my mouth off. I'm sorry. You'll make it. He is. What's going on? Where's Miguel? I need to get you someplace warm. What? What happened? Oh, no. No. No, Miguel. I, you have to lie down, and we have to get you someplace no, warm. No, no, please, no, Miguel. You have to find it. We do it all we can, Charity. So fat. We have to get you someplace warm. No, I'm not going anywhere until I know we can safe. Poor Charity. Charity's heart is breaking for her. Oh, save it for when she really starts to grieve. There'll be weeping and wailing aplenty. Timmy can't take it anymore, Tabby. Don't worry, Tim Tim. It won't be long now. Charity will be coming over to our side very soon. And when she does, she'll be glad she rid herself of that boy. Timmy doesn't think so. Timmy's never seen two people more in love before. No. I never meant for this to happen. I know you didn't mean to, Kay. But you have to stop trying to manipulate things. You have to stop trying to keep Miguel away from Charity. It's gonna be all right. I'm going closer. No, Charity. I can't just stand here. I have to go up find him. It's too dangerous, honey. <laughs> if you were to fall in the water again. I won't. I'm, I just have to be closer. I'll be right over there. 
Hey, just give her a minute. She'll be okay. Please, God, don't let anything happen to Miguel. I can't believe this is happening. Why haven't they found him? They will, honey. Why hasn't he come up? Teresa. Well, Teresa, we're so sorry. Is there anything we can do? Just pray that they find my mother. Teresa, Gwen and I are here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Ethan. I'm gonna go help with the search. Please be careful, darling. safe. Bring him back to us. If he pulls through this, I promise I'll stay out of Gwen and Ethan's way. I won't do anything to mess things up between them. Unless I feel Ethan does really want me. But I'll be good. I swear. Just let my brother be okay. Hank, is there anything I can do? I wish there was. But no sign of him at all? No. We don't find him soon. One dead Romeo. And a family in total ruins. <laughs> All in a day's work, Tim Tim. A very good day's work. She behaves to think what you have planned for tomorrow, Princess. Tomorrow, Charity is coming over to our side, bringing all her powers with her. And when we've got her, all hell's gonna break loose. Charity, no, no, it's too I dangerous. I just want to be closer. All right, everybody, get back. Get back off the ice. I'm going to break open other areas. Luis, if you do that, you're going to strand yourself. I'll do whatever it takes to find my brother. All I'm saying is just get... do as I say, TC. Now, you too, Hank, get off the ice. Look! He's not out of danger. I knew it, Simone. I knew he'd come back to me. Okay, just hang on. We'll get you out of there. Char Charity! I'm here, Miguel! Stay back, Charity. The last thing we need is both of you back in the water. Char Charity, are you safe? Oh, no, yes, I got you, I got you, I got you. The ice is really starting to break up. Go back, Charity. Go to the shore. No, I'm not going anywhere until I know you're okay. Check out the ice around Miguel. It's a favorite thing. I know. If we got any closer, I mean... It'd be suicidal. We have to get back to the shore and find out some other way. And we better do it soon because he's been in that water too long. Dude, the rope. We can use the rope. I doubt if he can handle it. He has no circulation. The ladder. Hang on, little brother. We're coming for you. Dice won't support us, so we're going to slide a ladder out to you. I'm going to crawl out on it. But we should not do that. You're too heavy. I'll be careful. No, you're going to end up in the drink alongside your brother. That's right. We need somebody who's light. Me. Timmy can get him. No one's lighter than Timmy. Light in the head. It would make Charity so happy. Uh, uh, you're the only one that could save me, Super Tim. You're the bravest of the brave. I don't know how to thank you. I do. My hero. Way to go, Super Tim. Way to be, man. Way to go, man. Yo, you're the best, man. You're the best. Put away your cape, Mighty Mouse. The only way you're going out on that ladder is with a cement block tied to your leg. We want Miguel to die, remember? Let me do it. He's my brother, Luis. We always stick together, right? When the family takes care of our own, you always said that. Teresa's coming for you, Miguel. It's too dangerous, Teresa. I love you, Miguel. I won't let anything happen to you. Luis, we gotta get her out there quick. Come on. I'm ready. Let's go. How long do you think he's got? No more than a few minutes. The body can't handle the freezing water no more than 15 minutes. Hang in there, Miguel. Hang in there, Miguel. We'll, we'll, we'll get you, man. We'll get you. You're worried. Miguel is a wonderful young man. So is his big brother. 
Is it that obvious? No, probably only to me. Well, I noticed that Beth girl giving you the evil eye. She and Luis are very close. Which is one of the reasons that I think... Do I even have a right? The, what right? A right to worry about Luis, to, to feel anything for him. Why? Because there's so many differences between us. So many obstacles that we would have to overcome to even have a relationship. I'm afraid that if I pursue it, then it'll only end in heartache for both of us. Isn't that true of all relationships? Yes, but it's just that Luis would never want to live my lifestyle. And you couldn't live his? I'm not sure. Sheridan, these doubts don't sound like you at all. Weren't you the one to always say that true love conquers all? Maybe I was wrong. My track record will attest to that. Julian pointed out all the problems that could affect Luis yeah, and well, me. Yeah, well, I wouldn't take your brother's ideas on true love too seriously. Okay, listen, you follow your own heart, just like Ethan and I did. And look, now we're engaged. I'm so happy for you, Gwen. I'm happy too. Why wouldn't I be? It's, it's what I've always wanted. Wait a minute. Do I hear a button there somewhere? You're not having any doubts, no, are you? It's not me. It's Ethan. What? Ethan? No, he loves you very much. He's acting so strangely about my engagement ring. Well, how's that? He won't give it to me. I wouldn't worry about that, Gwen. Just trust in Ethan's love for you. Oh, you know, I feel so stupid and selfish thinking about my ring at a time like this. Seeing this makes that whole thing so trivial. Sharon, Miguel's not gonna die, is he? I mean, he's gonna be all right. Easy, Teresa. Okay. Teresa, right. be careful. <laughs> Hold it steady, guys. All right, we got it, we got it. Steady, you guys. We got it. We got it. Come on, just a little longer, all right? It's a couple more seconds, man. A couple more seconds. We're gonna get you, okay? You're doing good, Stay Teresa. With us. You're doing good. Okay. All right, guys, start lowering it easy. Easy. All right. Lower. All right. Lower it down. Okay. Just hang in there. Easy. All right. You got it. You got it. Slow. Slow. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more. Go back! Don't do this! Go back! Who the hell? You're terribly worried about her. What? Teresa, I can see that you're worried about her. Gwen, I don't no, think this... No, Ethan, don't misunderstand me, please. I mean, maybe a week ago before we were engaged, I, I would have been upset, but not now. Good. I'm worried, too. You know, Miguel's got to make it. Teresa's got to make it, too. It makes all my concerns about my engagement ring seem so petty and foolish. Charity. I'm coming, Miguel. Just another few seconds. Miguel! No! Miguel! No! Miguel! No! That's it. No! He's gone. Finally. Well, he hung on long enough. Too long, actually. <laughs> but... All's well that ends tragically. <laughs> I've got to save him. You are not going out there. <laughs> Let me go! You are not going to go out on the ice. You'll fall in and you'll make things worse for everyone. <gasps> there he is! Mikhail! Come on, little brother. You got to hang tough. I like you. Can you reach her? I think I can. You got him. Now just reach out your hand and grab her. Charity! I'm right here, Miguel. I'll be waiting right here. It's real love. It must be wonderful to have that kind of love. Where do you go, sis? The ice is breaking up! No Hold problem, on. bro. We got you. Take my hand. Take my hand. Grab her hand, Miguel. Um, Grab it. I got him. I got him. All right, Teresa, let's go. Keep a good, solid grip, huh? Okay. Come on. All right. Come on, Miguel. Come on, Miguel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Miguel, you can do it. I'm gonna get a boy. <laughs> Timmy knew it. Timmy knew true love would win out. I loathe happy endings. And this is as loathsome as they get. We've got to get the two of you someplace warm. Our house. No, I think the night in the hospital would be wise. Oh, Dr. Russell, I feel fine. I'm just a little cold. Not to mention soak through to the bone. You need a thorough examination, young man. Oh, can't we do that at home? I, I wouldn't mind saving the money on the hospital. I understand, Miguel, but this is your health we're talking about. Well, the Bennett house is close by, Doctor. It'd take twice as long to get him to the hospital. We'll build a roaring fire. Well, it's silly to stand out here arguing. Very well, we'll go to the Bennett house. Uh, I'll bring my car around. I was so worried about you. Thanks for helping, Kay. You're a good friend. You're a great friend. You too, Simone. Okay, guys. Let's get these kids over to the Bennett house in front of the fire. You all go on ahead. I'll catch up with you later. <clears throat> Need to cordon off the area first. Make sure there's not another accident. Thanks again for fishing me out, bro. Hey, you go on home and get warm, all right? Oh, well. Time to put on a happy face. Play the good, caring neighbor. Why? So I can keep an eye on what's going on, of course. Why else? Timmy was just asking. You don't have to bite Timmy's head off. No, I could simply unscrew it. Come on. You see that our heroine gets home, okay, Whitney? Oh, come on, you. <laughs> You're great, sis. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> There's so much love in that family. What'd you say? Nothing. I'm glad that worked out so well. Oh, yes, me too. In case you haven't noticed, it's freezing outside. Well, the book cafe has great hot chocolate. All right, lead me to it. Okay. See you later, Sheridan. Luis, are you all right? Yeah. I'm so relieved that everyone's safe. My family means the world to me. I don't know what I'd do if anything ever happened to any one of them. I don't know what I would do if something happened to someone I cared about. You know, there's, there's something, something I... I need to... We've been up there a really long time. You think your mom found something wrong with Miguel? My mom said she was going to give them a thorough examination. That could take time, Kay. Miguel looks so pale. Will you stop worrying? He's going to be fine. Be right back. Chad, I've been wanting to tell you, you were really great out there. When there was a chance. <laughs> no, seriously. You really did a great job. All I did was pull on the ladder, Simone. I mean, anybody could have done, done that. I'm just glad that Miguel came through okay, that's all. He's one of the good guys, you know? And so are you. I'll get it. Tabitha. Hello, dear. I thought a nice cup of tea would warm everyone up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, come in. <laughs> Thank you. Especially those two sweet children. Tabitha, that is very thoughtful of you. Oh, well, where are they? Uh, they're upstairs. Eva's examining them. Oh, well, in that case, they're in the best of hands. <laughs> It's hard to imagine Eve being anything but a doctor, but I suppose she was before she became a physician. Maybe, but before we met, he was already a doctor. My mother was a Deb. 
Oh, really, Simone? <laughs> well, fancy that, a debutante. She was brought up very properly. White gloves, tea dances, cotillions. Oh, <laughs> how lovely. Yes, it was. She had the perfect growing up, and I don't think I could ever live up to that. What, live up to your mummy, me? Yes, I know she would love it if I did. Well, I'm sure she just wants the best for you, my dear. She surely doesn't want me getting involved with the wrong kinds of guys. No? No, and I guess she's right. I should work harder at trying to be more like her. She's the perfect role model. <laughs> I'm sure you love looking through old photo albums and seeing pictures of her as she was in those days. Actually, my mom doesn't have any pictures. No snapshots? Well, not from when she was growing up. Simone. Oh, pardon me, Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> if it's snapshots you want to see, Simone, then uh, take a look at this bird. Well, here they are, and they're both fine. I think we should have Miguel stay the night, though, so we can keep an eye on both of them. That's a great idea, Dr. Russell. And we'll take good care of them. Tabitha, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I brought some hot tea. Oh, well, the cups are in the kitchen. Come on, Kay. They've been through enough already. Let them have some alone time. Okay, well, they've got exactly one minute. I was so scared, Miguel. It's over. I thought I'd lost you. That's never going to happen. Never. Nothing's ever going to keep us apart. Things are turning out even better than I thought, Simone. I know I shouldn't ask, but how so? He's here. Miguel's in my house, and he's going to be staying in a room not far from mine. And Charity's. So? Tonight, I will be the one at Miguel's bedside. You know what? I think you're crazy. After all they've been through, I don't think they're going to leave each other's side for one minute. You're wrong, Simone. Tonight is my night. Mine and Miguel's. I... It sucked. Oh, you were wonderful, Luis. I didn't do anything. It was Teresa. Well, we better get busy securing this area so we can go tuck ourselves in someplace warm. Yeah, I got some police tape in my car. Okay. Well, it'll only be a few minutes, and then I'll take you home, okay? Okay. Well, I'm exhausted. I, don't even, I didn't even do anything. I know what you mean. It's great how everyone came together, especially Luis's family. It's amazing how much love they have. The Lopez Fitzgeralds would do anything for one another. Anything. They're wonderful people. There's so much love in this town. That's something that I never had in my own life, and I want it, desperately. I knew Miguel and Charity were close, but when I saw them today, I mean, those two are really crazy about each other. They're in love. Yeah, that's amazing. My whole life, I've never felt that way about anyone. I mean, I've been in love, but it was never what those two kids have. Maybe it's not in my makeup or character or whatever, I don't know. Well, it's in mine. I want a love like that. I'm hoping one day I'll find it. Maybe you already have. That was truly amazing what Teresa did, wasn't it? Well, I'm just relieved everyone's okay. It was a funny thing, Ethan. When Teresa was holding her hand out to Miguel before she got it in the water, for a brief moment I thought I saw the stone in her ring, and the way the moonlight was shining on it, it looked like it must have cost a fortune. I mean, she surely got herself a catch. Well, Gwen, are you saying she's like... Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying she's a gold digger or anything. I mean, I know I said it when I thought she was after you, but I know she's not. Well, good, because she isn't. I'm not lying about that ring, though. Ethan, it was enormous. <laughs> Here, honey, I brought you some tea. <sighs> Drink it while it's hot, okay? Thank you, Whitney. God, that ring is huge. <laughs> Are you still gonna tell Gwen you're wearing her engagement ring? No, that would be too mean. Oh, really? <laughs> Whatever happened to all's fair in love? 
when McGill was out there in that icy water, I, I said a, a prayer. I promised to God that I would stay out of Gwen and Ethan's way if McGill was saved. That's some promise. It's over, Whitney. I won't go after Ethan ever again. Unless, of course, he wants me to. Whoa, wait, wait, back up a second. Now I'm confused. You said that you made a promise. And now, what, you're just gonna break that promise? You think I have that kind of love? Yeah, it's right there in front of you, man. You're just too dense to see it. She's right there, man. Beth's been there for you for years. Beth? Yeah, you guys have always been great together, and she wants the same things you do. To settle down in harmony, uh, have a slew of kids, a dog, a station wagon. I mean, just look at you guys tonight. You're out on a date just like old times. It's not exactly a date, Hank. All right, well, whatever you want to call it, you guys just fit, okay? Now, I know you like Sheridan, and I'm sure you've had some fun together, but can you honestly picture Sheridan wanting the kind of life that you want? Can you see a relationship going beyond just a few dates? Uh-uh. Beth's the girl for you. Always has been, Louise. You know, I hope that someday I can have that kind of love in my life. That feeling of belonging to a man, a family, a community. Well, I know everyone in town is fond of you, Sheridan, but... What? Beth, just, just say it. No, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but... Well, the truth is, it, it would be difficult for a crane to be totally accepted by the locals in Harmony. I mean, not that they would intentionally reject you, but... Well, your, your family's all about mansions and yachts and private planes. The rest of us, we're just, we're just plain. If you got involved with a local guy, I mean, what kind of lifestyle would that be? Where would you live? Could you be happy in a small house, shopping at the supermarket, going to PTA meetings? I figure the only possible way it could work for you and Harmony is if you hooked up with Hank Bennett. I mean, Hank's never gonna do the white picket fence thing, no way. You and Hank could travel all over and bebop into Harmony, you know, from time to time. Heck, Hank's been doing that for years. And if if you're looking for a close family, Hank's family's real tight, so you could have that too. You could have everything, Sheridan, with Hank. I honestly can't see it working with anyone else or any other way. You just wouldn't be happy and neither would the guy. Okay, you guys, that's it. I want you to go upstairs, get some rest, and sleep round the clock if you can. My parents are out of town, so I'll put you in their room, Miguel. Are you sure it's okay? I'm... No arguments. We're gonna take care of you guys tonight. I'll be your nurse. And Simone can be charities. I'll sleep in the chair by your bed. That is so good of you, Kay. Yes, please, please do that. That way, if Miguel needs anything... I'll like... give it to him. You don't have to. I'm fine. No, I'm... It's what Charity wants. You don't want to upset her, do you? No. I'll make sure he follows doctor's orders. Don't you worry. Do you really think Teresa's boyfriend is wealthy enough to give her a diamond that big? Gwen, I, I think your eyes are playing tricks on you. I mean, the moonlight reflecting off the ice is what you saw. You're probably right. I guess I just have engagement rings on my mind. 
Ethan, I can't wait for you to give me mine. Although I know I'm gonna have to. I guess tomorrow will do. I know you'll give it to me in the morning. But I mean, no more excuses this time, Ethan Crane. If you wanna marry me, I need a ring, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go see if the Brides magazines came in, okay? And then we'll go back to your house. Better start thinking, Crane. You've got to figure out some way to get that ring off Teresa's finger by morning. Yes or no, Teresa, are you going to keep your promise? Of course. You're going to keep out of Gwen and Ethan's way. But this ring is still on my finger. See, here we go again. What? I am not doing anything. It's stuck. It's not my fault. What can I do? I mean, I'm gonna see you tomorrow, Teresa, okay? <laughs> and this is not over. Thank you, Whitney, for the tea and everything. Temperature dropped like 10 degrees in the last five minutes. All I know is it's damn cold. Yeah, Beth went to get us some coffee. I'll go help her out. All right. How's it going? About done. You know, uh, you never did get a chance to say whatever it, it, it wasn't important did you want to say something to me no just uh thanks for helping out hot stuff coming in very hot <laughs> well we're done here so uh how about i take you home and we finish our date see you buddy see you later see you back. see ya good night You look like you could use something warm. Yeah, thanks. I was really touch and go before. I was so worried about you. Us. Oh, nice to have someone worry about you. I always will, Luis. Always. Make sure that they get a lot of rest, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna come and check on you in the morning. Goodbye. Feel better, you guys. You know, that girl, Charity, has some pretty powerful premonitions. Like when this old lady tried to sell her this uh, statue of a bird, she had this amazing reaction. What is it with these bird statues? He was on the phone earlier with Harmony PD. She was tracking down a bird statue. One that belonged to Orville. Long day. <laughs> Coach Russell over here tells me you're looking for something that uh, Orville owned. A statue of a bird. Why would you be interested in it? I'm not. Orville mentioned it in passing. I wanted to see if it survived the fire. The police department couldn't find it, so I assume it was destroyed. Just for safekeeping, until I let all of Harmony know about the life and hot times of one Eve Russell. But it can't be tonight. No. I've got to wait for exactly the right time. Can't we just stay out here and talk? Not for two minutes, not even for two seconds. You heard what Simone's mom said. It's straight to bed for the both of you. You don't want Charity to get sick, do you? I guess you're right. Okay, come on. I guess I'll go to bed. Okay, we'll sleep well. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I'm getting Miguel some more blankets. What's up with Charity? Uh, she went to bed. Oh my God, this is more perfect than I could have ever imagined. I'm gonna be sitting up in that room all night with Miguel, with no Charity to come between us. Charity, Charity. Wait, that's Miguel's voice. Where is it coming from? Charity, can you hear me? Yes, but where? 
the heating vent. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. I just wanted to say good night and sleep well. You too. Oh, and Charity? Yes? I can't wait till morning to see you. Me neither. Night. Night. Face it, Kay. Even walls can't come between those two. You've lost. Miguel has saved Charity again, and their, their bond has just grown deeper and, and stronger. Maybe it's time I got tough and stopped thinking about Charity's feelings. No more Mr. Nice Guy. It's awful. What am I gonna do? Teresa. Yeah, hi, it's Ethan. Um, look, I can't talk long. Gwen's looking at some magazines. I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Gwen saw the ring, Teresa. She saw it when you held out your hand to Miguel. Oh, no. Well, I, I've pretty much persuaded her that it was the moonlight flashing off a piece of ice. But she got a good look at it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ethan. I, I was so worried about my brother. I didn't think about the ring. No, 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 no. Teresa, look, it's not your fault. But the problem is that Gwen wants the ring on her finger by tomorrow morning. And if she doesn't get it, I mean, I'll be forced to tell her that it's stuck on your finger. And if I tell her that, I mean, she's gonna freak. And she'll call this whole thing off between us. I don't suppose you've had any luck trying to get the ring off your finger, have you? It's still here, Ethan. Well, I guess tomorrow we'll tell what happens. <laughs>